Jane interacting to season five, episode nine of Angel. Last episode was very eventful, if I should say so myself, <laughs> because we got Spike and Angel fighting over Mountain Dew, and we and we got some more history about their background, but preferably like how they were, uh, um, you know, during Angela's era and also before spike became officially spike and we've kind of seen or at least put together these this timeline of like how they were and more so how spike has had this like jealousy or in anger towards angel and angela's in different times and we're finally seeing that, that he can finally put that little act to rest which is like oh my god like you're my great green sire we finally got that in the drafts but now we can conclude that the main premise of this season is that they're being played they're being played by Lindsay. we don't really know the motive it can be that he's maybe mad that angel got the wolf from her heart now that he has it under control and that could have, should have been his job if he didn't give it to Lindsay. i mean if he didn't even give it to lila we also got the fact that he probably want revenge on Angel overall. And in the outcome of this, he's been orchestrating all this stuff with Eve, such as the robots, I'm assuming. What happened last episode with get, get letting um, Spike become corporeal. And I just been rewatching when, when I was editing um, today and a few days ago. And I can probably assume that he's the main reason of why uh, Angel got the amulet in um, season four finale or episode 20, 21 22 so he definitely wanted angel to die <laughs> i think he wanted angel to die and then maybe he could run the wolf from the heart or just want angel to die overall and then so be it but he definitely since he sent that empty no-name package that compared last spike he definitely had to send that amulet to give it to angel which ended up getting messed up to, and um, that's why spike had it which is probably why eve was looking at spike like damn your ass is here which means that they that means that like Lindsay and Eve went to Sunnydale and scooped it up, I guess, to see if it was Angel, but then they must have realized it wasn't. Damn, they want him dead. So, I guess right now they're probably just letting them fight, they're enjoying all this nonsense that's been happening due to Spike, I guess, interfering with their plans. But we'll see. So, anyways, let's. And news call. This is a parody like for sure. Captain of industry, we own his soul. But fabulous movie queen, she owes us her firstborn. Oh! No more important sacrifices. And Wolfram at heart, you're no. part of a family now. You can work your way up the ladder, and there'll always be a hand to us. You I'll matter, say like, buddy, Dan you're a little bit. going places. Okay, who? Don't don't go to the intro. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm like, so is this, was that an ad or was that? Uh, Harmony! Oh. <laughs> no shade. Yo, okay. Hygiene. We love a hygiene queen. Okay. You know how she got some growth. What the fuck? Yes, this is a day in the life of Harmony. Damn, nobody see her? So then, 2 a.m., my boss calls me. Wants to do one thing, but this. I'm so asking for a raise. Yeah, you know, I was thinking I'd been due for a raise, too, because... Oh, did I tell you? No. Don't pop. Don't blow. Hey. Morning. You just can't there are rules so you've got the department heads at 11 you're one o'clock with mistress trevor from human sorry non-human resources <laughs> moved to two angel okay could you spell that oh she must not understand him Damn. <laughs> about the uh, catering i really went above and beyond because i know this is damn y'all really unappreciating this lady like hello you're clean have a good one. Oh, I thought they were going to like say it was positive. I was about to be, it was about to be a problem. Angel, you forgot your... <gasps> what? Well, that's not right. Oh. What Eli did on his own time... It's dismember virgins. Whoa! Never mind. Well, a person's religious beliefs is no cause for... He did it for his own amusement. Wesley's back! Position just opened up in accounting. 
Mm. Hardest part of the job, terminating an employee. Once again, in corporate America, safe from it. You catch on quick, don't you? Where you going? Yeah, I thought I'd push off, seeing as I got somebody waiting for me. Who? Angel, I'm not sure that's wise. Give me not true prophecy. Yeah. Just like the Viper. Viper mm. it is then. Oh my god. Any message for Buffy? Tell her you're a moron. <laughs> hey, please. You to know. Let her cook. Uh, I mean, all that work you put in trying to, you know, kill me the ghosties. I mean, it would have worked, though. I don't get a goodbye just because I went crazy and tried to rip your throat out while we were having sex. <laughs> Why she simple, not her tearing Got along okay. Shared a few hundred miles of desert, traded livestock, and even partied together once in a while. Okay. Then, Vinji used the wrong only guy in the world they all trust. And okay. he called us for help. Okay. And it aside, the Vinji and Salvin are notoriously vicious. Hey, ah, who is come this? On, bandito, come on. Who? Gets a wee shy around the big boss. Oh, yeah. All the way in, yeah. That's I, uh, finished the past us, but it's still state of the art. And since okay. I'm the clan representative, speak English, I'll be doing most of the talking. Look, he got the talking yeah. now? Right. Their oh. customs and stuff. Did you know that they think poodles are wicked bad luck? I'm glad you're here. Yeah, go ahead and uh, no, put that in the drafts. It used to be a thing. I don't know. Alice said she and that Knox guy are pretty friendly. Maybe mm. she's sleeping with both of them. What? <laughs> That's what I do. Is he's muffins. They're from Lorne. He's what? Actually from Shaq, but yeah. Lorne's declared his office a carb free zone. He definitely he's might. He's totally grooming you. You think? Yeah, boss. Harmony, get the hell down here. Now. <laughs> uh, sure. Now I'm no, yelling at her. Do you want to explain this? Please don't tell me. Okay, this is totally my fault. I specifically told the camel meat's a delicacy, so I thought it would be a great way to kick off the summit. Is who cooking? Because the clan's being so uptight. Like, the camel like, has the wrong way to go. Yeah. Um, you were supposed to answer the phones, make appointments, and anticipate my needs, which does not include like, a petting zoo in my lobby. <laughs> not a petting okay, zoo. A no, if she's right, though, Angel had to, like, apologize. He's not in the mood to, you know... But you're a camel. <laughs> oh, he hates me. I hate you. I, I mean, it's just, I, you know I don't her. know you that well. Yeah. And what are you doing after work? Phrase this at the age of cornbread. Yeah, can you All the girls, right? they think it's Knox and Gun. Of course, I know. It's Gun? Not, Wesley, not that they'd listen. Gun? It can teach you how to dress better. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> sis. They are both kind of hot, aren't they? <laughs> Why is everyone at the office so interested in who I might be dating? Because right? you're at the top. Okay. People want to know what's happening with the big wigs. Or, mm, not I mean, with that man. I lots keep. of Wolfram and Hart people hang out right here. Why are them bitches people. in here? They're you can't straight. escape them? Watch. Oh, I couldn't. Is it? Is I'm it? hanging with my gal pal. I would never I, do that to you. Let me see what Don't it is. Don't be silly. I'd be boring. Yeah, it's not going to work. I can do that. <laughs> Look what she's about to do. Don't watch me. What? I'll just, um, from. Oh my god, let him speak, babe. Uh, the Bay Area originally. Uh-huh, interesting. <laughs> what do you do for a living? God, she didn't even let you speak. Seven o'clock on the dock. Next to landing, it sure do. I don't think she killed them, you know? Yeah, they got lit. Hello. Girl, he is not awake. Oh my god, he's very dead. Oops. Ain't no way. There's no way somebody somebody set her up. I, I can't. Oh my god. Oh. She disposing this boy. Oh. Alright, what I said, lady. I know you I know you see me. Oh <laughs> colorful ass bag. He would definitely be found. Ugh. How is everybody missing this this, this shoot? I don't want to die. Act normal. <laughs> Hi. How's it hanging? Love the blood. Where? That's what I'd like to know. Where's my blood? Mm. Harmony, I got the demon summit today, and you're late. And blood, eat. oh blood, coming right up, boss. Harmony. Huh? <laughs> I can't afford to have anything go wrong today. Mm. Tom, Terry, they set her up. Drinking. That's my problem. You know, I'm his right arm. So y'all yeah, work with every type of demon, but good. her drinking blood is the most disgusting she all seen. Yeah. Mind your fucking business. No, we better just stick with the chip dip thing. Right, because why? Thanks. Why say hate the chip and dip? Okay, there's a uh, detective Griffin for you. Oh no, girl. 
This is not a good look. Set up. There's no way. Oh God. Just got off the phone. The LAPD, they found the body. Where? Did he say where? City dump wrapped in a laundry bag. You don't hear unusual names like that anymore. Hey, Toby. We're gonna have to do some serious damage control. You think? Demon rights activist gets much by a vamp on our watch. That must be it. The derailing thing. That that um, makes sense. We're not helping. Right? <laughs> The summit can proceed as planned and they shouldn't, you know, start skinning each other. He's not ready to speak it out. Stop, my pill. Nip by book. Ah, 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 like that. Well, that's oh, kind of yeah, after totally. alibi, I guess. You know our angel doesn't really work like that. Oh, would Anyway, if you want to hang out again sometime, we could grab some wine, jam to the Dixie mm, Chicks. Uh, oh, gee. <laughs> Told me he was an astronaut. <laughs> like anyone would believe that. Well, <laughs> I know. She did. Well, I'd better. Okay, that's it. I gotta get out of here. Leave the country. Maybe Mexico. Oh, yeah, no. I like Mexico. Or Cancun. I hear that's. Put me on the right. I mean, it's still what happened on the right. Oh my gosh, she punched him. Ah, you know? Harmony, you're making it worse. She just. She just DDT. I didn't. They actually opened the door. She knocked him out too. Oh my god, that room might be filled with everybody getting slumped. Yo, she about to get fired for real. Look. Um, oh, see? Right, oh, okay, so you have to left. Stop. Right, you're practicing on it. The people put the people put that shit in her in her butt. Her. <gasps> at, her, at the job. Somebody spiked my furnace. Not a helper. He's a chopper. He'll cut my head off before I get two words. He won't. I'm not a killer. Okay. You about to get punched, boo? <laughs> you about to get punched, boo? are being super understanding girl they're not talking because you put the tape name. i so owe you guys dinner yo harmony is <laughs> oh no one little mistake find fred i want to know what she got off the body mm. fred? fred is gone fred. baby what that you stole my thermos and filled it with human blood human what oh my god harmony Don't bite him, boo. Oh, God. You no. <laughs> the run, girl. You did? Of Why course. Wanna... Hey, it was you. How many better do something about it? Who are you? Right. Five weeks? Oh. Like four and a half. I have been there for five years. Oh, she made the position? I have an exceptionally pleasant phone voice. Damn, okay. Well, he can kind of have a black queen. Hold on. Wait. Wait, she even black? <laughs> you know, at this point. Kind of not. Oh, she a vampire too? That's crazy work. Anyways, let him have a little boo. Sorry, Harmony. Move. Roof me in your drink while you were busy flooding it up. And then I followed you back to your place with that guy. I waited till you passed out. Snack. Oh, and, 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 and you didn't get the blood? You didn't get the blood test? So I'm going to kick your ass. Right, because that's crazy. <gasps> Chopsticks? That's crazy. How did, he even, how did they even let that happen? Harmony. Angel not even noticing that they duking You're it out. Tell Angel the truth. You want to know the first thing I'm gonna do when I get your desk? Oh, she out of. <laughs> oh my God, they don't hear this. They over here talking. That's crazy. Whore. That's not this whore Oh, get her. Oh, she actually got her. Well, that's a sacrifice. I am. <laughs> you should have just come to me. Angel, we just saw you. I wish I would have thought of telling her that. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> sorry, <you guys>. Fred. <laughs> Still here? Okay, I made some bad choices. I mean, it's not like I have a soul. I have to try a lot hard. Damn, Harmony, she kind of got me turned up a little bit. Hold on. Well, so far, no heads are rolling. 
How about in here? Collecting bodies. You won't have to be watching because Vine. I'll just summit by killing the skank who tried to frame me. And all I get is give me some coffee. You believe that? She's telling it. A man can't go out in a bloody blaze of glory saving the world and then show up three months later tumbling off a cruise ship in the south of France. Well, I'd expect Buffy to be happy enough to see me. It's just I gave up my life for her. I know that feeling well. Yeah. Oh, come on, huh? You matter to someone. Who? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I do. Huh. Girl tried to frame me, didn't she? Must have mattered to her. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. I'm saying you matter to that dead girl. That's all that counts. That's not the premise we needed, sis. <laughs> She said, yeah, I mattered to that girl who tried to kill me. You know what? Hold on. Not gonna hold you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They, 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 they make enough for some lost time, B. Mm-hmm. That's what I talk about. That was season five, episode nine of Angel. And let me tell you something. I'm telling you, y'all need to, like, whoever was, like, I'm hoping we get more, but y'all, the biggest thing. Is y'all tried to do so many big villain each section? First it was like Jasmine for B, then it was the big man in 4A. What y'all needed to do was just build up the, to the big enemy at the end and give us some of these episodes. Like you know how much it is that we have a villain, well somewhat of a villain that we're building up. Like this is kind of like the Buffy formula, you know? Like Buffy, they have a villain, but it builds up towards the end of the season. This, we got a villain so far. And then maybe buildings, obviously, we're building on. That's what we're getting. And I like that. Because we're getting a chance to have episodes about other characters. You know how long it's been since I've had a character-centric episode? They've been giving us some this season. But it's been so long that I barely forgot if we even had one last season. And Harmony having one? I would have never expected this. And I love that they're utilizing these new additions to the show because... You, I really was like, there's just no way that Harmony is just here to be at the back, the, as the clerk, as the as the secretary assistant giving up blood and coffee and um, making appointments and shit like that. Like I didn't, I thought I didn't know she was gonna be utilized. If anything, I expected Spike and everybody else in the group to get their own centric episode. But I did not expect Harmony to get an episode. That's how shocking I am. That's how shocking. That's how shocked I am that Harmony had an episode. And I mean. And it seems it is kind of sad because, like, her and Cordelia, one of the most robbed opportunities of a lifetime. I'm going to be quiet. But one thing about them is that that's that thing of, like, you peaked in high school where they, like, all was like, oh, we're popular. Like, they, they both kept mentioning how they're pop they were popular in high school and how they were, like, the most, like, feared. And now they're adults and they're just looked at, looked down on. And it's something that, like, both of them share. And I guess now they're more so using Harmony to finish what was kind of hinted or shown in the, you know, in the beginning with Cordelia is that they've both been just, like, bitchy mean girls in high school who like just chilled together and clicked and they never really talked to anybody else because they thought they just were they were above you know everybody else and to now see them and you know as adults trying to find friends and find people to talk to and they just can't because they were so they they, they acted a certain way for for the, during those years and then when it's time for them to really peak they're stuck and with harmony she's the type of person that is like so you know antsy not like antsy and she can't stay focused on specific things so for her she want to get straight to the point she's very blunt she's very vocalized on what she wants or and sometimes she vocalizes too much as her her brain don't even catch on to what her mouth is saying so she moves so fast that sometimes it what, it, what she says can be offensive or some people don't even take her seriously they think that she's still like immature and stuck in this like high school phase because that's where she peaked and to see an episode dedicated to her is very shocking to me. I didn't expect it. And to see her feel like, I, I can only imagine that she felt like underappreciated. She's a girl that works at, you know, the Angel Law Investigations. She's busting her ass off. She's doing work and she's trying her hardest. And then to see Angel, first of all, kill that, that zombie, which I mean, in comparison to her, I mean, her setup is not really big and minor, but seeing him do that and then seeing that there was a no kill policy and then find out that she's being framed like 
that's crazy and she felt like she didn't have friends there she felt like she wasn't friends nobody saw her as important at the job she was just seen i guess as just a suck up that shouldn't be with them and i guess in a sense maybe the girl was right that since she's with angel and them even if she's not technically with them they people don't want to talk to her kind of like how you know let's say that you're cool with your boss and people are not going to talk to you as much because they think that you're going to snitch that's what they probably are doing or they also probably don't like her because she don't probably probably much pretty much don't even talk to them probably but you know she don't feel appreciated she damn sure feel like nobody likes her not even her boss and she feels like everything she does is just not good enough and to find out that she's been working her hardest for eight months to not drink anybody's blood and then to wake up after having her first day of like having a friend with fred talking to her and finally getting like this feel of how like her and cordelia used to be only to wake up with no memory of what happened drunk and the man is dead and then to find out that you feel like nobody cared about you so you start panicking knocking people out and then trying to prove your innocence and then everything that was supposed to be going right to, for angel is getting screwed because you're like oh my god i'm gonna die and this girl trying to frame me then you start going ballistic blaming people at work about potentially drugging you it's going to be wild and hypothetically i love that she was able to prove it herself and handle the fight like it was fun as fuck to have a fight like it was it, i mean i've missed a vampire a vampire fight or a vampire on vampire fight it was fun it was amusing and i love that it was it was it was it was a good long time and i enjoyed it and i also love that they're utilizing harmony because i actually like harmony if anything she does she just gives me this like this this reminisce of like haha this is the girl from buffy that you didn't like and i always will look, laugh at her because i used to laugh at her falling down the steps in 111 where that um that visible girl was taunting her and cordelia and it's and she's kind of in a sense giving fred the friendship that fred never had because soon as fred i mean as soon as fred came she never really had a genuine relationship with cordelia she barely had a chance to um, build a bond with her and then bullshit started happening and obviously cordelia got obviously taken over and then all season four that wasn't really cordelia so fred never really had a chance to have a girl bond and to see harmony automatically wanting a bond with her and reaching out to her and then fred pushing her to talk about the guy and then maybe with this fred can talk to her about the her guy problems because clearly fred is very much aware now i mean i didn't think she was a klutz but she's very aware that you know she likes harmony i mean the harmony y'all know where my head is at i'm telling y'all she has more chemistry with harmony and willow than any of these fucking men i'm telling you right now but yeah the guy <clears throat> i just i just don't so she clearly knows about wesley and knox so she can conclude that the last conversation she had with wesley two episodes ago was definitely showing that he still cares about her what she can do is she's probably going to choose knox matter of fact how does she choose herself why does she gotta why is she basically in a love square she was in love triangle moves in the love triangle she basically had a love square technically she said girl i'm making up for the five years of being in another dimension and i respect it honestly i feel like they should keep keep these clowns away from her because wesley he's not making i mean he made a move but he's just waiting for her to make a move you know she's not gonna make a move but Knox is more trying to make a move by using science so do whatever you will with that but it was it was funny because like <laughs> angel trying to learn a language in like one day to get so amped to say something that offended them that is <laughs> one thing angel gonna do is offend somebody and be clueless but i'm happy that they actually kept harmony i don't think harmony would have died but it just shows how much she cared about you know how she cared how much she cared about this job because she had nowhere to go um and it is kind of sad though watching her just not fit in anywhere even her neighbor ignores annoys her ignore her so maybe now she'll be more in the crowd in the crew more i really think that's a big stretch but after what happened that was sad it was really sad to see her just still be happy and positive and like vibrant even though her neighbor literally ignores her and her dog growls at her like she's the worst person on the planet y'all need to have that better have the energy for a vampire that's not so friendly next time then and lastly i mean i did appreciate the speech with spike and harmony because spike did do her dirty he done her dirty in season five and at that time she was like um 18 19 
and you know she thought that he was going to be like her boo and her forever vampire love and he used her he used her had her act like buffy and that can mess up somebody's mental state just like how when um the situation with faith happened with buffy she felt like she wasn't good enough for riley and that's the same thing that applies to um harmony not in the same sense of harmony wasn't taken over but it's the same sense of somebody imagining you as somebody else how can you compete with that and it was nice that they had to talk about it even though he literally just said he don't give a fuck about her <laughs> it's actually wild but that definitely fucked her up mentally and then the fact that like she sees him and then he still doesn't care and he still don't show that he misses her in any insight like she probably sitting here like damn did i mean anything to anyone because i don't have friends at the job angel hates me people hate me my love life is trash and spike don't even care about me he still cares about the slayer and it's been like two years what am i doing wrong and i do appreciate that he also did not go follow buffy because she literally destroyed she literally saved the world and the last thing she needs to worry about is relationships of any kind both with angel and with spike she should not be worried about any of that she should be enjoying her time with her sister and her friends they deserve a vacation away from anything supernatural besides the supernatural witch and her that's pretty much it like she deserves to have her time and her peace and bake like what she said in season seven and she should not she should not be having to worry about who is fighting over her and whatnot you know but anyway that was my reaction make sure like comment and subscribe for more angel reactions page down link below to follow buffy angel shadow moon team wolf trying reactions some of them are done obviously buffy is done and twitter will be linked so see when i upload till next time make sure you safe.